night uh, we're at a campground uh, by the Gulfus Falls right is that where we are geyser. by the geyser not far from the Gulfus Far Falls uh, we have a plug-in campground where we're able to plug in we got all the electricity working in here we unfortunately after messing around for two hours we could not get the propane tanks working uh, as much as we tried we even got some help from the restaurant that's right down here we couldn't get the propane working, so that means no internal heat in the RV and uh, no hot water. It was a little cold night and uh, no hot showers. Part of today's task is to uh, contact the camper company so we don't have to go through a second night like last night. Uh, okay, so after a very long conversation with the rental company, uh, there was one little piece of th uh, thing on the gas pump that they neglected to tell us. Here's our propane tanks, which I had turned on, which you can now hear is freely flowing. This button and this button in here, you have to push simultaneously to push it to get the gas flowing. I knew last night the gas was not flowing. I couldn't figure out how or why to get it for it, even though they were both on. The problem soon as we solved, look at this beautiful scenery. Let's start our day now. Is it warm in here now? It's getting warmer. <laughs> I can make coffee. We can make coffee. Our gas burner is working. We have hot water. Oh, first like, world problems. <laughs> no, that's like second or third world problems. <laughs> what are we cooking this morning? Uh, eggs with spinach and mm. potatoes with onion. Good. Breakfast potatoes with onion and spinach and eggs. Amazing what you can do when you have working gas. <laughs> right. Okay, we're leaving. What's this place called? Skull. Skull Jewel Campsite. Thank you very much for your hospitality, by the way. We really appreciate it. You were very helpful with our gas issue. Not bodily gas, <laughs> propane gas, and uh, helping us out and using your phone. Thank you very much. Uh, really appreciate it. So if you're ever uh, in the, what's this place? The, 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 near the geyser. Near the geysers. Go to the uh, middle of nowhere hostel and restaurant. Highly recommend it. <laughs> That's what it's called, middle of nowhere. Oh. So we're off to. Uh, I was trying to find the name of the geyser we're visiting, but actually, it's, it's just called Geyser or the Great Geyser. So. Um, it's only about two miles down the road, so let's go have a look. What's beeping at me? Alright. The Great Geyser. Now we just have to wait for one to go. Oh! kilometers up the road from the uh, geyser. Now we're at Gulfus Falls, which I believe is the biggest uh, waterfall in Iceland. A lot of tourists here today. We're gonna go take a look now. So after making our way up to the Gulfus Falls uh, gift shop up there on the hill, we came down here and I don't know, it's not really much, it's not really much to see. I don't really, I don't really see anything worth checking out.
drive. We're heading up towards uh, the Ring Road to do our circumference of the country, but we stopped off at this place called Oxafrost. Oxafrost. Como quisiera decirte, espía, verte, espía, verte, espía. Y así va pasando el tiempo. So since leaving that last waterfall, we've eaten dinner in a town that was not so special, but we started heading north now. We've made our way back over to the one, which is the ring road. I'll put a map up so you can kind of see where we are. We've made our way north maybe about, how far? Uh, maybe by now 150 kilometers or so. And we're headed up um, to a peninsula, I can't remember what it's called, sort of getting north but not quite only north for camping but um Keglafla frost um so but very volcanic and very open white space it snowed really hard for a minute and then it stops out of nowhere the really sudden crazy changes in weather and um anyway next stop is our campsite <laughs>